Hey, let's take a look at some of the accessibility features in Outlook. So one of the features that I've listed below is polling. To found, find polling, you go down to the three ellipse button and you click on the polling option. This will turn up on your sidebar and you can insert your message, whatever you want. So for a polling question, it could be something as simple for breakfast. I would like puppy tea and etc. Whoops, not tea, tea. You can add multiple options. You can add different answers. You click next, add to your email, and there's your polling feature. This would be great for uh, people who need um, a little bit of TLC to find out how they're doing, an entrance ticket, exit ticket, so forth. Um, you also have this extension that I have added to um, my Chrome browser. This is a voice text. You can click on this. You add any kind of voice comments anywhere you want on the um, browser page and it will link to your email to whatever it is you want. More accessibility features are featured in the three ellipse down here. Uh, you've got additional templates that you can write. Um, so for an ease of adding uh, emails, uh, dyslexic students or anybody really could have templates already switched there. You could check for accessibility e issues in the email, which is great for people who need a little extra TLC when it comes to their emails. It does it look nice. Is there anything I need to fix, et cetera. Um, additionally, what I wanted to point out here is one of my uh, favorite tools. If you right click on here, I have downloaded an extension called Hyperbird. Uh, this gives me text to speech features, immersive reader uh, that automatically links in there. And a shortcut, once you've downloaded this extension, a shortcut for immersive reader is um, shift and option, and then you can click I and immersive reader will show up for you. So that is a helpful, guidance and hint for you. Um, I hope this little tiny video helped. Uh, let's add a little confetti and we'll talk to you in just a second.